friends today we are going to discuss things on the assam geography okay and uh, first of all we will discuss things about uh, some important points such as area populations and uh, uh, populations growth rate as well as the population density of uh, different districts of assam and uh, uh, we will also discuss about the rank of assam uh, based on the their population density area as well as the uh, as well as the population next we'll discuss about the physiographical division of assam and uh, so first of all the total area of assam is 78438 km square okay and uh, this is the uh, assam ranks 16th among all the indian states and this portion that is 78438 it is around 2.39 percent of the 2.39 percent of total geographical area of india and the total population of assam is around 3, 3 crore 12 lakhs 5576 so these all that are based on 2011 uh, census as we know that so census in in india is uh, held after every 10 years so next in 2021 when new census data will come uh, this will definitely send this data okay so and uh, uh, in terms of population the assam rank is 14 among all the uh, states of india next population growth rate in the assam is 17.1 percent uh, which is uh, uh, less as compared to the average population growth rate in india which is around 17.64 percent okay among the all the districts, among the 32 districts, Dhubri districts recorded the highest population growth rate with around 24.44% and Kukuraza districts recorded the lowest population growth rate of 5.2%. Next, the population density. So what is population density? So population density means the number of persons per square kilometers. Okay. And the population density in, the, in, in Assam is 398, which is slightly more as compared to the national average of around 382 and uh, assam ranks 15th among all the 28 states uh, of uh, uh, india okay next in kamrup metro has the highest population density around 1313 persons per square kilometer and the population density is lowest in dimaso with only 44 persons per square kilometer and if we look at the scenario in uh, uh, india then Arunachal Pradesh has the lowest uh, population density, only 17 persons per square kilometer, whereas Delhi has the highest population density, that is around 11,320 persons per square kilometer. This data is essential because uh, in prelims, these questions may be asked. Okay. So next, we will discuss about the physiographical division of Assam. So how the different districts, that is the 33 districts of Assam, are divided. Into, into different physiological divisions we will discuss it uh, broadly okay so based on the topography so assam different districts of assam is mainly divided into three uh, physiological divisions that is plateaus folded hills and plains so uh, this this uh, west carbian long and east carbian long these two are the fall under plateaus and uh, this plateau is a uh, a continent uh, is uh, contiguous to the uh, this uh, Meghalaya plateaus, and next uh, we have the Polded Mountains that is not Kasar district or the Dimasa district. It is uh, it is it is called under uh, Polded Mountains, and we have uh, then we have the plains. So these entire portions, and and whereas this portion, this is the Brahmaputra plains, and whereas this uh, lower portion is the Borak plains. So this so therefore the basin physiological. Uh, topographical structure Assam is divided into three uh, divisions that is plateaus, folded hills, and the plains. So, next we will discuss about the, what is uh, plateaus. Plateau is, no, is nothing but elevated plain, it is elevated land. So, if, if, if we look at, look at the plateaus, it is surrounded by plains, and, uh, and the slope of a plateau is not very sharp as compared to the folded hills. So, plateaus are these are just uh, elevated land, these are formed by the two. Uh, due to the uh, due to different uh, tectonic movement volcan volcanic activities as well as due to the soil uh, due to the uh, erosion of the river okay so next the folded we, we, we know that in uh, in some west uh, 
uh, west curbing long as well as the east curbing long these two are fall under this plateaus next we will discuss with the folded hill regions so this north coastal that is the demands of this, this fall under folded hill regions so actually how these fold hills are formed this is important to uh, before knowing the how fold hills are formed we should know different plate movements there are actually three types of plate movements one is uh, convergent plate movement uh, plate boundary next divergent plate boundary next transform plate boundary so what is convergent plate boundary when the uh, two plates move towards each other that is called convergent plate boundary when the plates uh, two plates are moved away from each other it is called the divergent plate boundary and the transform plate boundary means when two plates they move parallel to each other they move parallel to each other uh, that is called uh, uh, let us call it transparent plate boundaries. Okay. Now, these pole hills are formed with the convergent plate down, the convergent plate moment. So, this is the convergent plate uh, moment means when two plates move towards each other. So, here, when two plates move towards each other, there will be compressive force. Okay. There will be compressive force. This uh, one portion uh, goes up, and uh, which is the formation of the uh, formations of the pole hill. There. But based on the formation of whole hill, this uh, this uh, this can be divided into uh, number of types. Suppose if this uh, slope, uh, based on the formation of the slopes, this uh, whole whole hill can be divided into different types. Number one, symmetrical uh, symmetrical fold means suppose if this uh, if you look at this slope. Okay, it is not symmetrical. If we divide it equally to, uh, into the two halves, then we will see the one half is not equal to the other half. So it is called asymmetrical fold. And uh, uh, if uh, uh, this after conversion plate bound moment, if this slopes uh, after the formation of the slope, if this slope can be divided into two halves, then it is called and called uh, then it is called symmetrical uh, slope. But here in this picture, this is not a symmetrical slope because if you divide it in the middle, uh, and uh, then you will see that the, 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 the two halves are not equal. Okay, so it is called asymmetrical fold. Next, we will discuss about the planes. So uh, we have two planes. One is Brahmaputra planes, and next one is the Barak planes. The Brahmaputra is the largest plane and, uh, in the north. East India, which uh, around the 58,315 square kilometers, and the Barak Plain has a uh, uh, area around 6,962 square kilometers. Okay. Next, we'll discuss uh, uh, broadly about the different geographic <coughs> regions. First, plateau regions. So, plateau regions are some divided into two parts. One is Central Kabi Plateau, and next one is uh, and uh, Hamren Plateau. So, this one is. Uh, this one is central curve plateau, that is the west curving long and next one is the Hamran plateau, the east curving long is called Hamran plateau. So in between these two plateaus, uh, or it is a uh, west curving long and east curving, there is a small distance. So that the, it is Hosai. Okay. So next, uh, then we will discuss the details about what is central, what are the, what are the features of central curve plateau. So curve plateau is isolated from the Ham, uh, Hamran site by the Kopili and uh, its head streams. So this one is uh, mm. Kirby Plateau, Central Kirby Plateau. It is, it is, uh, mm. uh, divide, it is dissected from this uh, Hamran Plateau or East Kirby Plateau by Kopili River. Kopili River is flowing through and, and its head streams. And next, uh, so it is also isolated from the Naga Hills by Dhansi River and its head stream like Deopani, Bukazan and the uh, Naujan. Okay. So this central, uh, this central the uh, mm. plateau is again di di divided from the Naga hills. We have Nagaland this portion. This it is defensible from Nagaland by Dhansi hill, Dhansi river. Okay. Dhansi river means uh, it is in Gulagar district. So, uh, so it, it has Dhansi or Gulagar plains to its east, as well as Kolong Kopili uh, uh, Nagao plains to its west. So this. Uh, uh, central Kirby mm -hmm. uh, has the uh, Dhansiri or Gulagat plain to its east. So this is north, this is south, this is east and west. In east it, it is Gulagat district and it, in the west it has the Nogao 
uh, or Nogao districts. So the main east flowing streams of the Karuletu is Deopani, Nambar, Kolyani and uh, Dipolo, Haryajan, etc. Make the important west flowing streams are Misa, Dizu, Sapanala, Nonoi, Dikhor and Gamuna. Okay. So one, of the, one of the important characteristics of this central carpet is the, uh, the, the, the number of uh, waterfalls and hot springs in the central carpet. So this includes the Garampani and Potashi water waterfalls in the east and the Sampavati or also known as Sapanala falls in the west. This is all about the central calculators. Next, we will discuss about the Hamlin plateaus. So, it is a contagious to the Zoyantia Hills. Zoyantia Hill means it is in the Meghalaya. Okay? So, this Hamlin plateau is contagious, contagious to the, uh, the Zoyantia Hills. Means here is the we have Meghalaya. So, Zoyantia Hills is for under the uh, Meghalaya. Okay? This is the Hamlin plateau. So, Hamlin plateau is um, dissected. Hamlin plateau is dissected and the subdued towards north by the Kopili river and its head stream. All the streams and rivers found here are tributaries of the Kopili and all of them flow from the southwest to the uh, northeast. Kopili forms the eastern boundary of the plateaus. Next we will discuss the folded hill regions. So we have already discussed how the folds are formed and this folded hill region of Assam is confined to the north coastal districts of Barak Valley. Okay? North Kasar is or, or it is it is included in the Dimahasa district. Okay, so it's it is popular, it is also popularly known as Barail Range and uh, the, the, this folded mountains region of Assam is a part of Patka Hills. Okay, so Patka Hills is very important in Assam history because through these Patka Hills, uh, Ahom uh, uh, entered into the Assam in the neighbor of the valley. Okay, so so this is the. Uh, this is the portion, so here the Patkai Hills was there and the uh, Patkai Hills to which the uh, home uh, 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 entered the ground of the bed, okay. So and after the, this we have the international border here with Myanmar, okay. At, at that time it was Burma, now it is Myanmar. So, uh, <coughs> so yes, in this college in the mass of districts and it has the uh, it is uh, the folded mountains in the Rasan is a part of Patka Hills. It is a part of Patka Hill because if you look at this, this is the folded um, hill regions. It is, so it is a so part of Patka Hills. Patka Hills is there here. So through this uh, Patka Hills, Ahom entered the Bronx Valley. Okay, and uh, so this is this is also known as Dimasa or North Kasha districts. Okay. Uh, next. Uh, which we will discuss about yes the another one uh, another important uh, characteristics of this folded hill region of Assam is there. Here we have the highest peak of Assam. This includes the Mahadeo peak, which is around, uh, the highest peak is Thepi uh, Bongo, which is around 1866 meter. And Mahadeo peak, which is around 1739 meter, and uh, and uh, uh, Kaukaha peak, which is 1736 meter. Okay. There are many mm, rivers and streams on both sides of the Barali range, such as Hansi and, uh, and the Doyang. Okay? This is about the folded regions. Next, we will discuss the plains. Okay? As you know that we have two plains, one is the Brahmaputra plains, next one is the Barak plains. So, Brahmaputra plain is the largest among the plains of, uh, in the northeastern uh, India. Okay? And it, it is a total length is around 720 km. And, uh, with varies from 20 to 100 km. Okay, this fertile plain is formed by about 57 northern degrees. It has 57 northern degrees and 32 degrees, uh, degrees from the south. Okay, so it means that so Brahmaputra has uh, around 57 degrees in the north. This is the northern part of Brahmaputra and this is the southern part of Brahmaputra. Okay, in the in in in, in the northern part, uh, Brahmaputra has around 57. Uh, 57 degrees and whereas this, this one is the southern part of Bangladesh and the southern part has around 32 degrees. So next, uh, there, yes, there are um, some geomorph morphologic variations within Bangladesh plains. These include, one is our uh, um, zone. So it lies in the northern part of the Bangladesh, especially in the in, in the Onasar foothills. Okay, this narrow fertile belt uh, and uh, 
is a narrow fertile bay line is composed of older alluvi alluvium soil this zone is normally the densely forested it is rubber zone so rubber zone located in the so it is located in, in this portion it is a monosal coriol so it is narrow strip and uh, the older alluvial soil is there and this is a, it is densely forested okay so next we will discuss is about the uh, tarai zones okay it lies along the southern border of the tarai zone and it is a strip of flat ground all along the zone uh, along the north bank of the plain okay the water that percolates down the surface of the tarai zone reappears in this zone okay this zone is around the uh, 10 km wide and it normally supports tall grass and the uh, other tall trees okay next built up zone this zone has relatively high and compact ground and it is lies to the south of the tarai zones this wider in the western uh, assam west of the adansi and narrow in the districts of nikpur of indian ganaji and this zone supports dense population rich agricultural fields and a large number of uh, towns and service centers okay next is your flat plain zone okay so the the built up zone marks towards the south to the one of the uh, one of the flat plain zone So means flat plain zones are these are adjacent to the river. Okay, it is, these zones are this zone is very near to the river route. Okay, the extent uh, to the north about eight to ten kilometer. Okay, from the right bank of the river. Okay, this is not test to not go hunting. I mean, now so we have to pay extra our area. Okay, next we will discuss the Barak plain. So so this this one is the this uh, this one is the Barak plain here. This is the Barak plain. Barak plain. Uh, Okay, we have three districts. One is Kasar, Koringans, and the Halaganj. Okay, Kasam, Koringans, and Halaganj they mainly play in the Borak plains. So, this uh, the southern part of the Assam is occupied by the Borak plain, which is uh, relatively a small one. Okay, it is generally it generally slopes down westward. So, this is in, uh, if we look at the uh, Borak plain, its uh, its slope is down towards the westward. That is 73 meter in the near Silsar and uh, and 51 meter near Koringan. Okay. So if you look at the uh, Barak Plains, so uh, its slope is uh, down towards the down towards the west. Means this is north, south, east, and west. And that is 73 in here Kasar and 51 some uh, 51 here in the Koringan. Okay. This uh, means it's down towards the west. So this is about the. Uh, Uh, Barak plains. So okay. So uh, next, uh, there are mm. large number of tributaries of uh, Barak River. So in the, this includes Ziri, Labak, Madura, Dalu, Jatinda, Larang in the north bank, and the uh, Sumai, uh, Kotakal, Dholeshwari, and the uh, Singla, and the uh, Singla and the uh, Langai in the south bank. So this is all about the geographical region of Assam. So based on the different topographical structure, and uh, that's all. Thank you.